First, I'm going to tie your hands behind your back and make sure you can't squirm a single inch in any direction. And if you like that, baby, I'm going to tie your legs together nice and slowly. Don't scream too much. I wouldn't want to put tape over your mouth, too. Have a good day, baby. I'll be thinking of you. Hey, girl. Are you my appendix? Because I got a funny feeling that I should take you out. Because you're about to rupture. Hello. Hello. Well, it's good to hear your voice, Mrs. Robinson. Well, no, no, your son should have totally made varsity. I'd have a talk with the coach. 8 p.m. again, right on time. Although, if you ask me, I think tonight might be a little more fun if we don't follow the rules. Oh, hey there, darling. I heard your grades are bad. Tell me, how hard would you be willing to work for a D? Mom, I'll be home for dinner. Fish is fine. With peas, of course, yes. Oh, you're tied up already? Ma'am, you're, you're not listening to me. I can't be a leprechaun. And you didn't wait for me. How rude. Heart stars in horseshoes, clovers and blue moons, pots of golden rainbows, I'll lick your red balloons. Hello? Hello? <clears throat> you two, my office, now. So you've been here three weeks now? And you can't last any longer than 50 seconds? Actually, on the contrary. One time in college, I was with I mean your phone calls, you moron! Actually, Monica, you may want to change that top one to 2422. And he's your protege. You're really a great trainer. You can only do so much. I will say there's been progress, though. I did witness him successfully impersonate a leprechaun not too long ago, and it kind of was a smashing hit. I talk about that on interview, yeah? This farce has gone on too long. Christ, I can't get my clients off the phone. Why, just yesterday I was on the phone for two hours with Lance Armstrong, and he only has one testicle. This is your last chance. Tomorrow, you keep someone on the phone for five minutes, anyone, or else you're both screwed. You know that's not fair. A trainee is only as good as his trainer. Now get out of my office, you numbnuts. How do you do it? I've developed a finely constructed system, and it works for me. I just need to find a system that works for you. I'll figure something out. Let's go grab a drink. I don't know what we're going to do. Hi, fellas. Welcome to the garden court. Are you staying in the hotel? No, just, uh, just a drink. And I'm actually getting off in a couple minutes, so another server will be over to take care of you, all right? Your name's Billy? Is, is that usually a turnoff for guys? Uh, not really. No. Oh, wow. Actually, I gotta go to the bathroom, so I'm gonna do that. All right, it's that way. You'll find it. Believe it or not, he is actually good at one thing, and it's setting the bar quite low. What was that you said about getting off in a couple minutes? Yeah, I get it. No, no, you don't, you don't have to tell me. Okay, I get it. All right, I'll talk to you later, Mom. All right, bye. What happened to you last night? Yeah, sorry about that, Charlie. I ended up taking that girl home. Things got a little physical, but nothing I couldn't handle. I was able to get you a surprise. Give her a call, she's a sure thing. Thanks, man. Today's the day. Remember, focus. Let's stick to the script. None of that weird creative stuff you do that never works, all right? Hello? Hello? 
Hey, hey, baby, how you doing tonight? Oh, thank God. Thank God. I'm, 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 I'm all by myself. I'm in a room. I don't know where I am. I was drunk and I, I Baby, don't know where baby, hey, 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 slow down, slow down. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Belinda Amberson. It's a weird name for a girl. I have hazel eyes and brown hair. I'm all alone. I don't know where I am. Oh, you're all alone tonight. You're all alone tonight, flying hound solo. I'll give you a little bit of a lightsaber if you know what I mean, baby. Tell me what you're wearing right now. I'm. I'm in all black. I, I, I'm all in all black. I came from work. I work at a, a hotel bar. I'm a waitress. Are you gonna come help me? Baby, baby, I'm coming somewhere. I'm coming somewhere tonight. Tell me where you are. I don't know. I don't know where I am. I didn't. He may be coming back. There's more than one. This is gonna be my first threesome. My first threesome tonight. My first threesome tonight. I want you to get the police. I want you to call help. I'm gonna be your man in uniform, all right? I'm the only man you'll need. I got some handcuffs. You need to come by me. He may be coming back. Three inches. That's all you're gonna need tonight. Baby, tell me your deepest, darkest desire and I'll make whatever you want happen. I'll do whatever you want, I just don't want to die. Five, Five minutes, minutes, baby! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, Hello? Like Hello? Hey, come on, don't leave me hanging, brother. Right here, right here, come on. What is that? What is what? Holy. Why am I always first? I can't get my clients off the phone. Why, just yesterday, I was on the phone with the Dalai Lama for two hours and he's celibate for God's sake. Just yesterday, I was talking to Elton John for two hours and he's into guys. I was on the phone with Donald Sterling yesterday and I told him I was black. I was on the phone with Donald Trump yesterday and he asked me to speak Spanish to him. Kwame Kilpatrick, Michael Jackson, Jay-Z. I was on the phone with Manny Pacquiao, Justin Timberlake, Brad Pitt, Oscar De La Hoya. I swear to God, Colonel Sanders called me yesterday. I was on with Barack Obama yesterday. Charlie, I have to be brutally honest with you. You remind me a lot of A Young Me. Oh my God, a young, that's amazing, thank you. A young me was our Filipino phone sex operator who was tragically killed by mercury poisoning. Oh, wow, that's 100% not what I thought you meant. Yesterday I was on the phone with Mike Madigan and he wanted to go for 48 hours.